let's talk about lead time so far we have considered placing the appropriate quantities when reordering inventory each time however in actual circumstance a supplier rarely delivers orders instantly when placed it might take a while depending on the proximity to the supplier's location the duration between placing an order and taking delivery of them is the lead time a business therefore needs to place an order when it still has sufficient goods in inventory in order not to run out and disappoint customers whilst waiting for the ordered goods to be delivered so the level of inventory at which a reorder is acquired is the reorder level meaning the level where your business inventory must get to before you place an order for example if a company has a demand from customers of 150 units per week and the time between placing an order and receiving the goods which is the lead time is four weeks the reorder level will be 600 units that is multiplying the weekly demand by the lead time meaning the economic order quantity must be reordered when an entity stock reaches 600 units so by the time your ordered goods get into your warehouse you will not be in short of inventory to sell now in practice the demand and the lead time are unlikely to be certain there might be an unusual demand from a customer or an expected delay in delivering from the supplier it will therefore be prudent to order the economic order quantity when there is more than the reorder level which was 600 units in the earlier scenario to cater for any emergencies now the extra of the inventory held over the reorder level is known as the buffer or the safety inventory so let's say a company might have a policy to hold an extra unit of 100 as buffer so if per chance the company does know their maximum possible demand over the lead time then the reorder level can simply be pegged at that there wouldn't be any need to extrapolate a buffer inventory over your reorder level so let's say a business's weekly demand is uncertain between 170 and 210 units and their lead time is also between two to three weeks the reorder level now will be 630 units which is the maximum of the weekly demand of 210 multiplied by the maximum of the lead time which is three so normally the demand in the lead time and the lead time itself will be lower or shorter respectively so it's very likely that you will not be able to sell everything before the new goods arrive so by the time they arrive you have some goods there so the maximum amount of inventory in holding is the difference between the maximum and the minimum reorder levels plus the reorder quantity so let's say if a business's weekly demand is between 170 and 210 units and their lead time is also between two and three weeks their reorder quantity is 5000 units the maximum reorder level will be 630 which is the maximum weekly demand of 210 multiplied by the maximum lead time of three the minimum reorder level will be 340 which is the minimum weekly demand of 170 multiplied by the minimum lead time of two so now the difference will be 290 the 630 less the 340 meaning the maximum level of inventory that is going to be found in a business's warehouse will be 5290 that is the reorder quantity the amount that the supplier will bring into the warehouse plus the difference that will be found staying in the warehouse when the goods arrive